Coming to you from our GI studios, I'm Nisha Charles and this is your Midday News Brief. St. Lucia draws closer to introducing more advanced ICT technology into the agriculture industry. Under a project named Advancing ICTs for Climate Smart Agriculture Practices, the Caribbean Agricultural Research and Development Institute, CARDI, hosted a one-day workshop to discuss ICT interventions for the sector. The CARDI workshop, held in collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture and technical partners such as the OECS Commission and the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, ECA, brought together several industry stakeholders, including students. The activity focused on market intelligence as a strategy to better manage climatic variability. On the 31st of May, St. Lucia concluded hosting duties in the 2019 DEFCA Hackathon. Developing the Caribbean, DEFCA is the region's leading event for exploring how digital and data impacts national development. DEFCA each year brings together a diverse community of innovators spanning the public sector, NGOs, technologists, researchers, and notable international partners across multiple countries. The hackathons are software development contests, providing unique opportunities in the field of ICT for aspiring and professional developers to network while using tech innovation to solve some of the region's biggest challenges. St. Lucia was one of six countries in the region to host the DEFCA 2019 hackathon. Banco St. Lucia has launched its first dual currency ATM at the Bureau de Charge stationed at the Huronara International Airport. Customers and visitors alike now have the option of withdrawing their funds in Eastern Caribbean or United States dollars. Bank of St. Lucia officials say that the introduction of the dual currency ATM at the Huronara International Airport is the first of many exciting products and features utilizing modern technology that the BOSL will be rolling out in the weeks and months ahead. This new service forms part of the ongoing efforts by the bank not only to enhance the convenient services available to customers, but also its contributions towards enhancing the digital economy of St. Lucia. And that's it for your midday news brief. Thanks for watching.